Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. On today's video, we have got a cow with heel bulb separation once again. Only this time, it's on a back foot. The problem, the source of this separation, or what caused this separation, happened right here. Let's get started. So like we talked about in our last video, heel bulb separation is not the problem itself, but rather a symptom of another problem. In this case, we've got a white line defect, and that has caused an infection inside that foot. As a result, that heel separates, or that sole separates, that infection works its way out that heel, and that's what we're removing now. We remove that sole to get down to the lesion that's hiding underneath where that mark was. You'll see it here in a minute. That mark right there allowed bacteria to get into that and infect that corium. So now we're going to remove that and address the lesion that's hiding underneath. Now that we've got that foot trimmed up with the grinder, we'll get the knife out and actually uncover the source of this discomfort and the source of that heel bulb separation. And that is that lesion that's hiding in the crack right along that outside wall. Moving in a bit closer, you can see we're just about to get to that lesion now. In a lot of the videos where I'm working on these defects, you'll notice that I stay away from trimming the outside wall. This is a different situation here. That white line defect or that lesion is actually starting to erode and starting to cause separation of that wall from that solar horn that's problematic so what i have to do here i'm notching out that wall and what that's doing in in essence is trying to take the pressure away from where that defect is to to force that pressure below it and above it and that way the pressure is not being on it and and continuing to open up where that defect is or where that separation is that's going to allow hopefully this to stop the progression from going up that outside wall and it'll take the pressure off that area i'm obviously going to use a block in this situation as well but i still in case that block were to come off i don't want to to be applying pressure directly to the area around that lesion. It's, a, it's an area of weaker horn um, in that wall section anyway right now. So we gotta try to take that pressure away from it, put it on that other claw, keep it and keep it on this claw away from the injured area. And that's why I've decided to notch this instead of leaving it uh, intact like I usually do. And see from here, we're really starting to get that lesion exposed now. Now that I know what it looks like, the extent of it, I'm going to get that other claw ready and get a block on it. Like I mentioned before, getting that block on that other claw is what's going to take the pressure off of this one and help it to heal.
It's at this point where the knife work starts to get tricky. We're working right up tight to that lesion now, so I have to be deliberate with my strokes, taking real thin slivers away from that lesion to get it fully exposed. If I don't get it fully exposed, my the product that I use to treat this won't be able to get in there, and we might have some little loose bits that are gonna irritate that lesion. So I have to get that all away, but I have to do it carefully as to not uh, damage the corium underneath it. Give you one more close-up of this lesion before I cover it up with our salicylic acid treatment. Now this foot is done and this girl is ready to get back to her pen. Have you ever wondered what those red marks are on the head of the cows sometimes? Well, the farmers use a giant crayon to mark the cows so they're easier to pick out amongst all their herd mates when it's time to trim them. But this girl's done. Let's get her back right now. She's testing out this new block and she thought, man, this feels a little funny. But it's going to help her. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.